Tag and Brag Nation, what is up? It is Trail Camera Tuesday. I know, I know, we've missed the past couple weeks. We were in North Dakota, we've been traveling a little bit. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. It's all excuses. But I can promise you from here on out throughout the season, we will be bringing you a Trail Camera Tuesday every Tuesday because right now, Things are changing. North Dakota was a successful trip though. If you haven't seen any of our videos, you are late to the party. Late, late, late. But seriously, go on to our Facebook page, go on to YouTube, check out. We have 10 vlogs from up in North Dakota. Opening day, we had some success. It was pretty sweet. You're gonna wanna check it out. Back to Trail Camera Tuesday. All right, so you know all that information that you've been collecting throughout the summertime. You've had trail cameras up on food sources. Deer have been coming in. You've been watching bucks grow. It's been awesome. What I want you to do with all that information is I want you to take it and I want you to wrap it in this little napkin here. And I want you to throw it over your right shoulder. You know why? Because it doesn't amount to jack. To put it lightly, now I don't want to burst anybody's bubble here, but things are changing in the whitetail woods. These deer are shedding velvet, they're getting hard horns, they're starting to break off from the bachelor groups, they're starting to feel their oats a little bit. Now I don't know if any of you know this, but as a deer turns hard horned, his hormones begin to change. They begin to change from hanging out with dudes all summer to wanting to start chasing some females. They want a room at the Love Palace. They want a ticket to paradise. Yeah, I will take uh, room four, five, six, seven, and eight, please. Ah, give me nine, too. Would you say young Ronnie's got nine? Well, he'll see how my G2 feels come November. All right, well then put me down for 10, 11, and 12, too, in case I want seconds. You know, everybody's got that buddy who's like, dude, I've got a 23 inch wide, 13 point, double drop time, kickers off his G2s, splits on his brows every day. I've got him on camera every day. And right around the time of the season, all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, man. I don't know if I spooked him going in to check my trail cameras. I'm not even getting pictures of him at night anymore. I got a news flash for you, Charlie. He gone. So Dean and I talk about this all the time. We don't see a lot of bucks throughout the summertime. But right around now, when those hormones are changing, when they're turning hard horn, all of a sudden, the bucks start to pile in. On the contraire, you got the guy who's been seeing these bucks all summer long in bachelor groups, and this time of year can be extremely frustrating because all of a sudden, those bucks turned hard horn, their hormones start to fluctuate a little bit, and they disperse and they're gone. Regardless, it's time to start changing up our trail camera locations and thinking outside the box a little bit. For Dean and I, we're looking for any preliminary scrapes that we see right now, camera on it. Any of our green food sources right now, camera on it. Any trails or highways out of thick bedding area and cover, camera on it. Listen, this is the time of year that you can kiss those bucks that you've been watching all summer goodbye. Some of them may stick around. More than likely, a good majority of them are gonna disperse and find their own areas for the rut. But that also means that a new buck could end up moving into your area and calling your property home. So for us, this is a time when we have literally every trail camera that we have in our arsenal is out right now. Because you never know when that buck is gonna move in and what part of your property he's gonna move in on. So we wanna have the whole area surveyed surveillance. I want to see it. <laughs> I just don't understand it. High tower. He's gone. He's gone.